in semi-arid areas, soils are poor, and cereal crops are often attacked by Striga, a damaging parasitic weed. This is Dobwo, a village about 500 kilometers northeast of Bamako in Mali. Dabo Gabriel Diara grows millet, sorghum, cowpeas and groundnuts to feed his family and make some money. As striga and poor soil fertility have reduced his millet and sorghum yield, Gabriel has decided that something must be done. The soil is tired and striga is everywhere. Even if you cultivate a large area, if you don't have a way to fight striga, you won't harvest anything. The effect of striga is very serious on poor soil. So Gabriel joined a farmer field school to learn from his colleagues how to combine certain practices to manage striga and soil fertility at the same time. In what is known as integrated management, they decided to combine compost, small doses of mineral fertilizer, intercropping of millet with cowpea or groundnut, and hand pulling striga at flowering. Dabo Gabriel and his colleagues meet twice a month in an experimental field. On two plots of 25 by 25 meters, they observe and compare their own practice, known as farmer's practice, with integrated management. They've seen that integrated management reduces striga and allows them to harvest millet as well as cowpeas and groundnuts, including the grain and the whole plant. But the question remains, can they make money using this technique? Let's see how the group compares the farmer's practice with integrated management. Let's first consider the investments, such as labor and inputs, and then look at the incomes made from the harvests. The integrated approach requires more labor, especially in the first year. It's a demanding method. It requires more time from the farmer. You make a line with one crop and then another line with another crop. And for weeding, the work is also slow. To calculate the costs of inputs, write down the different units, as this differs from one place to the next. The unit used in Dobbo village for organic manure is a cart, which costs 500 CFAs. For the farmer's practice, they invested in millet seed, manure and an empty bag. As income, they have 50 kilograms of millet which gives about 6,000 CFAs. By deducting the costs from the income, the profit from the farmer's practice is nearly 3,000 CFA. For the integrated approach, costs include millet seed, manure, an empty bag, and also cowpea seed, mineral fertilizer, and two days of extra labor. The investment cost is almost double that of farmer's practice. As income, they have 30 kilograms of millet and 145 bundles of dried cowpea plants. The profit of the integrated approach is nearly 12,000 CFAs, almost four times that of the farmer's practice. So by putting the cost, income and profit of the two plots side by side, we can compare them and draw our conclusions. It's true that this calculation is tiring for both farmers and the facilitator, but the result is so interesting that it's worth all the effort. Let's listen to Samuel Guindo, an experienced facilitator. The economic analysis allows farmers to know how much money they earn or how much they will lose by changing from one technology to another, or from one practice to another. This helps them make a decision for the following year as to which practice they want to try out in their own fields. We all need to understand that it's impossible to manage striga and soil fertility without investing time and money. 
but it does pay off. We realized that there was a lot of striga, so we hand pulled the striga plants. The second year, we did the same thing. During the second year, we noticed that there was less striga in the integrated management plot compared to the traditional practice. Having seen the different investments needed, you can choose which options are best for you. Why not ask a facilitator to help you with the calculations, so you can make informed decisions. By experimenting, analyzing and discussing in a group, you'll learn how to obtain better harvests. Oh, my God.